Hello everyone, hi the internet. I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad and C340 laptop. This one is as exact model as a C340-15IWL or the model name would be 81N5. Those information can be found on the bottom label on the laptop. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to replace or remove your battery really easy, few steps. And anybody can do this at home. I'm going to go over the tools that you're going to be needing. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a, the proper way of uh, using your first battery. The initial charge and discharging the way it's supposed to be. So it can last you a little longer. All right. The tools that we're going to be using is an iFixit screwdriver set. As always, I recommend this one because they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel. So really tough and steel. We're going to be using a torque number five and a Phillips number one from here. Also, if you get the pro version, uh, pro tool, you'll get a tweezers and opening tools. But if you don't, just grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really soft and durable to opening covers and cases. A curved tweezers is really good to have. Now, what we're going to do, you're going to use a torque screw. Make sure you power off the laptop completely. You will not lose any data or anything in here by doing this, so don't worry. So we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just remove them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribing. I will really appreciate it. It will be a great support for me so i can take more requests answer your comments and make more videos for you guys i made another video how to upgrade the hard drive the rams and everything else you can check those videos in my uh, video all right once you remove all the screws all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit and you want to stick the guitar pick between the palm rest and the top bottom cover, just like that. It's squeezed somewhere over there. Find your way in there. Now all you need to do is just twist it gently towards the outside. And you're going to hear a little bit of clicking. That's the clicks that you want to hear. Those are the, you know, the hooks that are getting loose. So do the front, side, go to the side back corner. And next you just want to turn it. Just close it down, grab it from the front, wiggle it around, and it will release itself. And there we have it. Now, the battery is really clear in front of you. This one is a two cell battery, but there's a two red and two black cables, one for each cell. The model number for this one is L18M3PF7. I'll try to get links for this one, I'll leave it in the video description. If you guys want to purchase, we're going to switch to Phillips number one and we're going to remove this screw and this screw and this screw right there. So that three screws that we have to remove, go ahead and remove these three screws. You can go ahead and order yourself a BIOS battery and upgrade, remove your BIOS battery or up, uh, I'll say upgrade, replace it. This is right over here. And this should be replaced every five, six years. So. You don't need to replace this unless your BIOS is not holding any configuration. But uh, the BIOS does not use this unless the battery on this one is dead. Then it's going to go over and use it from here. Anyway, so once you remove the, all the three screws, all you need to do is pick it up from here. Pull it out, slide out a little bit so you can release this hook right there. Now you're going to bring it in this position. And all you need to do is to pull these cables straight back like that. But this is the old one, so you can just pull it back like this. Nothing happened. These are really tough in screws and uh, cables. All right, there we have it. So once you say, let's say you got the new one in, you want to bring it down first. Don't align it anything. Bring it down straight. Make sure the exposed pin side is the exposed one in here. These are facing down, and the black side, which is pure plastic, facing upward. So you want to bring it like that and you want to slide it straight towards the jack and push it in there. Now you want to bring it, put this side down under and put the three screws. 
All right, the most important part in here, once you have the new battery in here, all you need to do is do not power on the laptop, leave it powered up, uh, plug in the charger, leave it for at least five hours for it to completely charge, I would say four to five hours. After four to five hours, you wanna disconnect the charger and you wanna turn it on, put a YouTube video or a movie or something, do not put video games or anything. You wanna slowly, gently, uh, gradually bring down the battery, charge down to 10 to 15%. Once you brought it down it's slowly, over two hours of period or three hours, whatever, then you wanna power it off completely and then you wanna plug it in to the charger and leave it there for charging for another three to four hours. After that, then you can turn it on the way you wish and use it as you wish. So that's the most important part for initial charging of the batteries. That's very important. All right, with that said, now all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it and push down and you should hear a few clicks. And if there's any opening between the palm rest and this one, just pinch them together real hard and it should click in place. I say for the back side in here, you're gonna see a tiny gap opening right there. So with that gap in there, I'm just gonna pinch it and it should go back in place right here too. And there we have it. Okay. And the last thing would be to put the bottom screws in place. As always, I hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out. If it did, click the like button. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.